So now that we've got our frog moving, and we can just quickly test that out, up, down, left, right, excellent, just press stop. So now that we've got our frog moving, what we wanna do is we wanna add a highway uh, background that it can crawl over. So we don't need to add a new object. What we can use is we can use the stage. So just click on the stage to select it. You'll notice that our code blocks have disappeared because we're not looking at the frog sprite or the frog object anymore. You can have scripts on your stage, although that's kind of a little bit strange. Uh, what we more likely want to do is we want to change the backdrop. And so for this, what we're going to do is we're going to just choose some basic painting options and create a really quick backdrop. So step number one is uh, we're going to choose the paint bucket and we'll choose a nice gray color and we'll fill it in. So there's a kind of a highway gray. Um, you can choose a different highway gray if you'd like. And what I'd also like to do next is with the rectangle mode and you'll see you can have the um, hollowed out rectangle or the solid. We want a solid rectangle just to make life a little bit easier. And I'm gonna choose green for now. And I'm gonna make a solid green rectangle right about there. Thank you very much. And I'm going to make a solid red rectangle right about here. So the green will be our starting area and the red will be our finishing area. And we'll have little celebrations uh, um, associated with that. And for right now, I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so we've got red and we should add some text to that just to make it a little bit more obvious. I'm gonna choose black text just to make it uh, a little bit more obvious, as I said. So I just click and I'm gonna type in the word start. And then if I click somewhere else, then I can move it around wherever I want it to go and then click somewhere else again. Oh, oh didn't like that at all. Okay, so I can undo that. There we go. So click, type in start, click away, move it to its location. That's about good right there. So there we go, there's start. And we'll just do finish up here, click away, move it to where we want it to go. And yep, and then click. So now we've got a start and a finish. So those are great areas to have. And next what we want to do is we want to add some lines for the highway. And so I'm just gonna choose white and um, if I choose the line and what you can see here is that it as I click and drag it draws the line with me if I hold down shift while I'm clicking and dragging then it does perfectly vertical or perfectly horizontal lines so there's one you'll notice it sort of looks a little bit grayed out afterwards that's fine that's not a big deal and I'm gonna do another one up here oh I just lucked out and got that to match up nicely and uh, I'm going to do another one straight down the middle, see if I can eyeball that. And there we go. And then, so I'm, I'm going to make my Frogger game so it has two lanes going this way and two lanes going that way. If you want to make it with three or four, I recommend saving that for a more advanced version. So I'm just going to make a line there and make a line there. So hopefully all of these lines are roughly equal. If they're not, then you can just undo those lines and uh, make them so that they're more or less equal. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a center area. I'm gonna add like a, a big concrete median. And so again, I'm going to use the line, but this time I'm gonna make it black and I'll make it really thick. There we go. And I'll hold down shift. Now, the problem with that is now my lanes are much, much, much too small here and here. So obviously that was a fail. So let's try and make this a little bit better. So that's still a little bit on the small side. So I'll just try and add a little bit of thickness to it. What I wanna do is I wanna create a, uh, an area where the frog can be safe in the middle uh, on the concrete median. And so if I wanna go ahead and adjust some of these other lines, you certainly can. But uh, but that should be should be good for now. 
here. So I'm going to undo that last one. All right, so that's plenty of room for our frog to go on. And then just because I want to make it a little bit fancy, I'm going to choose the circle. Nope, I'm going to choose the paintbrush. And I'm going to choose the color gray that we used from before. And you can see there's my circle. It sort of disappears onto the gray when we're there. But what I can do, let's make it a little bit bigger so it's a little bit easier to find. So there's my circle. Is that Now I can go along and make this line dotted by painting the road on top of the line. I know this is kind of backwards, not exactly the way that you would think of doing a nice straight dotted line, but it makes it so it does look much better than if we had just freehanded a line straight across. And I'm going to do the same thing up here as well. So now we've sort of finished with our background for now. If you want to come back and make it fancier later, you go right ahead. But that's just a, a basic way to do it. And now we can just go back to our scripts and go back to our frog. And we're ready to move on to having him start at the start and try and fight his way to the finish.